Hello YouTube, this is uh, part two of a uh, maestration of the axe I bought recently on eBay. Um, part one just showed the de-rusting process using le reverse electrolysis. I just wanted to show you the results I've got from that. Firstly we'll start with the, the axe head itself. All this has had is a quick wire brushing once it's come out. I've um, dressed the edges where it mushroomed because someone's been using it as a hammer. Um, and I've started to put a good edge onto it now as there's a few nicks to, to take out but generally it's quite pretty good. Um, it was an Elwood number five, um, Elwell sorry, Elwell number five which is what I wanted. I suspected it was, it's very difficult to make out but you can just about make out the E-L-W-E-L-L there, number five. It's a number five on top which is excellent and we've got a date of manufacture which is nice, 1964, didn't expect to find that sort of information from it but it's a good axe straight it's got a good eye to it no cracks and it's taking an edge beautiful um, the, the, the high steel cutting edge it's definitely as hard as my Grandforce Brooks uh, axe if not I'd say probably a bit harder um, it's taking some taking some work to put an edge on it there's a few little nicks to to work out but I'm taking it slow and steady um, just using a, a whetstone in the old uh, record number 36 um, that's doing a good job, not taking too much metal off it at once, I think that's the secret. The uh, reverse electrolysis process, um, you probably saw I used a old brake disc to um, act as an anode to, to attract the rust. Strangely, I thought the rust would attract would stick to the surface like a, a car brake disc does when you park by the seaside. It's actually attracts to the middle bit. Um, all this rust here wasn't present beforehand and that's all from that's all from the uh, from the axe. Nowhere else. There was no rust on this, and there's a nice little tide mark where you can see where it set out the water, um, where the scum settled. But yeah, it's all attracted on there. It must be a, an easier target for the for the rust to go to. Um, that's the the water we used with the uh, calcium carbonate in it. Uh, sorry, sodium carbonate in it. Um, again, a lot of rust at the bottom. I was surprised actually how much came off. I say most of it's stuck on here. Um, not so much on the other side, but definitely on that side, and it's done a it's done a cracking job. One of the things I was surprised at was uh, no matter how much rust was removed, even when all the rust was gone, it still produced gas. There was still a, a, a chemical or electric electric um, electrical reaction happening. So it's a case of knowing when to stop, really. And um, there's not a spot of rust left on it now, so I'm happy to work from from that point. Now it's just putting an edge on it, and then getting it hung getting it hung on a a new uh, new axe handle, which will be part three. So uh, thanks for watching um, and we'll have that third part with you uh, within the next couple of weeks.